stress concentration modular ratio modular ratio when things are designed using combinations of material for example imagine that we are designing a post outside steel inside wood or concrete and this is steel and then if we apply some load here p then the both of them will compress imagine equally so in that case we can write that delta of wood is equal to the deformation of from the steel delta if we see within the proportional limit approach we can say pl by ae of wood is equal to pl by ae of steel now p by a is sigma so sigma l by e is sigma l by e of steel we can do this then sigma wood is equal to e modulus of elasticity of wood modulus of elasticity of steel and then sigma of steel in a general formula you can write sigma a is equal to e of a by e of b sigma b this e by a e a by e b is called modular ratio modular ratio sometimes it is expressed by n so we can write something like sigma a is equal to n sigma b so we may have to use this equation so as you can see from here that the amount of stress they can carry depends on how strong they are so they are proportional to their elastic uh, limit if you look at here it's still so the the stress carried by wood because the wood modulus of elasticity is very low compared to steel so the wood uh, stress will be very low compared to the steel stress so the stronger the material the stronger the load it will carry that's the simple way to understand this modular ratio